Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week Pierre and I are out off the base and the plan today is to just track down some carrots. So it's um, end of July now, just coming into August and uh, it's a lot colder. Water temperature is still not um, too bad. There's still fish sort of hanging off the base here. Uh, it's starting to get a few hits now and um, hope we get into some good fish. But yeah, the plan today is just to try and track down some carrots off the base. What we normally do is just burly up the storm, cut up a few little cubes of pul um, pulchard and squid and um, seems to do the trick out here off the base. So, yep, hopefully today we'll get into some carrots and we'll get you back out once we're into the fish. With a short weather window, we dropped down a couple of big burlies, hoping that we'd get onto the carrots pretty quickly. And it didn't take long before we were onto them. Over these winter months, Pierre and I love to chase carrots off the bays, and over these winter times, they just seem to come in waves. We were dropping little cubes of pulchard and squid, and they just couldn't resist it. And it didn't take long for Pierre to hook up too. Every little bait we were dropping, carrots were just coming in, scoffing them up. The gurnard for the bin. Not bad size for the east coast, I guess. Can't get much bigger. Well, they, they can do, but not like this size. So, yeah, working out quite well so far. This time we had a double hookup, and the shearwaters came in to have a look. They couldn't believe it themselves, but Bears one spat the hook. I was still hooked up on mine and it was a lot of fun. Yep, another nice little carrot for the bin. We were definitely onto the gurnard and soon it was just one after the other. We could tell when we were hooked up to a carrot by the motion of the rod. And Pierre had another nice carrot for the bin. was all on and they were coming up one after the other. The great thing about that is you can pick and choose what ones you want to take and let go the rest. It's quite cool to see these little critters swim away in a flash of orange. So we're starting to catch a few um, gurnard now. As you can see on the sound here on the simrad. A bit of sign on the bottom there, mid water as well. Catching a bit of snapper in between, but um, mainly get gurnard here and not doing too bad. Missing quite a bit. Um, sort of quite tentative on the on the bite. So, um, but we've picked up a few and not doing too bad. Probably going to hang here for a little while, catch a few more, and then might head into the shallows and do a bit of a stray line for some snapper. Wind's picked up a little bit now. It's meant to go about 20, 30 knots, so um, if we move into the inshore, it shouldn't be too bad. It should be sort of more offshore. So it's not been a too bad a day so far. Got a few gurnard in the bin. Caught a few little small snaps in between, but um, a lot of fun. Not too bad. Time to get into some gurnard now. Burley's bringing them around. Nothing big, but a bit of fun. Oh, that's not bad. Here's Pierre hooked up with his little micro jig. It was a snapper this time. Pierre's hooked up. I'm hooked up as well to a gurnard. Starting to go off. Gurnard. Well, as you can see, the weather's 
Keep closed in. It's gotten up to probably about 15 knots, maybe. And um, caught a few gurnard, so that's what the plan was, was to come out and catch a few carrots. And um, we actually managed to catch a few. Lost a couple. Um, let a few go as well. So it hasn't been too bad. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad a day. Plan came together, went to the Gurnard. What we're going to do is um, just head in, have a bit of a straight line sesh, see if we can get into a couple of snapper or something like that uh, as a bonus. And, um, but yeah, awesome day on the Gurnard, and that was the plan. And they're definitely here off the base, so yeah, good day. Well, we've moved in, come up a bit rough. There's caught a takeable snapper, and we dropped a, um, another burly down here. Found a reef, just fishing back to it. Here's starting to catch a couple of nice snapper, so let's see how we go. Moving into the shallows, it didn't take long for us to start hooking up into fish. Here's Pierre hooked up to a donkey kawai under a nice rainbow. There were a lot of big kawai like this around. But in between the donkey carway, we did manage to hook into a few little snappers. Here's Pierre with a nice little panty for the bin. And I also had another nice little panty for the bin.